In a city where brain power and human energy are in plentiful supply, it's no wonder Hong Kong acted quickly and successfully to control the coronavirus outbreak early on with strong health and safety measures and with a lot of homegrown technology. In this edition, we talk to some of the people helping to fight the pandemic in Hong Kong and beyond. We begin at Hong Kong Airport, which has mobilized people and robots working to stop that virus dead in its tracks. As Hong Kong's main connection to the world, the airport was key to keeping COVID-19 out. They had to move fast, Hong Kong fast. Joining us is Stephen Yu of the Airport Authority. Stephen, how tough is it being on the front line of the pandemic? Yeah, it's a challenge in terms of the manpower and the resources, but we are well prepared. I think people still remember back to 2003, the SARS. After lessons learned from the SARS epidemic, the airport took a range of measures, starting with temperature checks. So before allow them to go into terminal, we have the temperature screening. So if they are within low fever, below uh, 37.5, we will let them inside the terminal. For airport staff, there's a disinfection pod developed in Hong Kong that starts with a temperature check and uses a sanitizing spray for 40 seconds. The airport unleashed a platoon of cleaning robots, also developed in Hong Kong, that disinfect hallways, floors, and toilets. When we back to the normal, we may keep some of the measure, for example, the exit temperature check, we probably will keep it become a permanent feature within the airport. Way before other governments jumped into action, Hong Kong acted with border controls, testing, and quarantines. The result, about 1,100 people infected with less than 10 fatalities as of mid-July in a city of 7.5 million. The new technologies at the airport are just a few examples of how, as a regional center for R&D, Hong Kong's tech and biotech firms worked with academia to fight the pandemic. Polytechnic University worked on face shields using 3D printers. Professor Hao Chung Man heads the team. So Hao Chung, you had nurses come to make sure that it worked for them, right? Yes, yes. Customer feedback immediately can help us to modify our design. There's no way 3D printing can provide the number they want. 3D printing can only produce one of these in 90 minutes, one in an hour and a half. But you had to make thousands of them a day for Hong Kong's hospitals. How would you do that? Uh, we use our own machines, our 3D printing machines in our own university, get the design, get the product done within seven days. And then we transfer to the industry and they're able to produce it within two weeks. So the whole problem solved within a month. That's because the university was ready, says Polytechnic's deputy president. So Alex, you are fast tracking these projects aimed at COVID-19. How are you doing that? Well, you know, in Hong Kong, we have SARS. And uh, we have colleagues and both in our university in Hong Kong know that sometime this thing will happen again. So we actually have a trust fund you know, uh, have donation from uh, uh, different companies uh, to attack this problem about, you know, another outbreak of pandemic. Another fast-track anti-COVID-19 project was at Science Park, home to hundreds of technology companies and thousands of staff, including immunodiagnostics. So we officially start the work in early February. And in two weeks, we've already generated three successful diagnostic kits for this disease. So Kelsey, you must have been working day and night to develop these tests. Absolutely. Basically 15 hours per day, I think, during that time. One is ELISA, which allows over 90 tests per SE kit within two hours and 30 minutes. So it's very useful in the population-based screening. And the second is a POCT platform, which allows just one drop of the blood and will show the results in 10 minutes without any equipment. You just, you can see it visually. Technology helping to save lives in Hong Kong and export it around the world. Exporting hope as well, that the world can put the pandemic behind it. That's all for now on Spotlight Hong Kong. From all of us on the Euronews team, we say, don't say, thanks for watching, and see you next time.